and we back for the past however many years i have been a sole gm of this channel whether it be turning bad teams into good turning good teams to bad then turning back good whatever the challenge may have been i have been the one doing it but i know that while i'm doing it you probably doing it alongside with me so i know i'm not the only one that's good at building teams so i put this to the test to see if my viewers over on switch can draft and rebuild a team to win a championship it was inspired by my good friend bingo he does youtube videos as well he does this exact same idea but on madden so if you like rebuilds and you like the nfl he's the perfect channel to go visit i'll put his link in the description so i saw him do that and i was like yo that seems fire so i decided to test it and here are the rules this is the way it works i hit a random button and a random viewer and my chat comes up and i have to do whatever they say if they say draft um uh, ooh, the worst player in the league whoever it may be i have to do that and then they also have an input on the trades we do it was a very fun idea we have fun doing it on twitch.tv slash klt for a q so you don't miss out on future streams this was a blast before i show y'all the results leave a like on the video it seemed like yesterday i threatened y'all and many more of y'all like the video i don't want to always have to be the guy to threaten y'all but if you don't leave a like on this video we're gonna have problems and if you're new around here subscribe man i'm trying to hit a million subscribers and i can't do that if you new guys don't hit that button so be sure to leave a like on the video now let's go over and see what twitch chat decided to do with our team yo you know what i just noticed you see how this bulls thing says run with us on the side and then the Cavs says all for one, one for all. It has like the, the NBA player setting. I mean, uh, sayings. Next gen? They're giving us little hints, y'all. They're giving us little hints. Next gen, my league is going to be goaded. I didn't even notice that. Proud. Okay. All right. So first thing we have to do is randomly select our team. So I'm closing my eyes and I'm stopping in three and two and one. And it's... This is a sign. It's a sign. Next gen. Next gen is going to be great. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. What number pick will we have? Okay, all right. Not great. Somehow we still end up with a pick in this round. But here are the options. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly stroll through. Am I in the way? You can see you can see up top. So I'm gonna quickly stroll through the options, and then somebody in chat gets to pick the first player we draft. You know they get the pick. So let's see who that is. So these are the people that are eligible for today's video. Whether you're a mod, a regular, a subscriber, or a user, everybody has a chance to draft my team today. Only thing they need to do is have typed in the chat in the last two minutes. It's simple. So the first person that's going to draft the first player on my team is... It's Zepzy. Zepzy. The time is on. You have 30 seconds to tell me who to draft. Ben Simmons! It's going to be Ben Simmons. Okay, W. I was, a, I was very afraid that we were going to get trolled. But instead, we got Ben Simmons. All right, so Ben Simmons is the first person onto our team. We're talking about a 6'10 point guard that's on a five-year contract. Great player. Great player. All NBA player. Just got drafted there. Bam Adebayo goes after him. And now we're going to have another pick coming up. This is our second round pick. So with the second round pick, it is going to, yeah, sure, for real three. Brother, sister, you got 30 seconds. To tell me who we're drafting with our second round pick. UW. The GOAT last night. PJ Dozier. Yeah, sure, for real. Just set us up. Just set us up. Alright, alright. Hey, I gotta I gotta do what we gotta do, man. I gotta do what we gotta do. In our second round, we are selecting. A 72 overall. A 72 overall. Per 36 numbers look incredible. But there's a reason he's been on three different teams in his three NBA seasons. Next. All right. Third round is going to go to Llama BL. The GOAT. Lou. Dort. And with the third round pick, we are going with Lou Guinness. Lou Lou Winnis, Lou, Lou Dort. It's always just going to be Lou. You know what I'm saying? Did some good things. Is he worth the third round pick? Absolutely. Thank you, Llama. Big Lou Dort. Yes, yes. Next person is going to be M Extreme. Mech Extreme. 
Your time has come. You're on the clock. Wait, what? Who is who? Wait, we got Lou. Who is H H H U? H U. Hello? H U. Who? Who would you be talking about? Hello? I I think your I think your time has run out, brother. <laughs> I think you're talking unless this is a player that I don't know about somehow. I think we got to skip Carson at you know what? I just read a donation. I read a donation. And in that time, that 30 seconds had ran out. But I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. He selected Sure King Carson Edwards. They don't want to see me winning. They don't want to see me winning. They don't want to see me winning. This is y'all team, by the way. You're going to be the one rebuilding this. I don't know if you realize that. All right. There he is. 5'11". Bow-legged. Caught a body early in the season. I definitely this remember that. Carson Edwards. About. You know, college, absolute bucket. NBA, not so much Ooh. so far. All right, all right. Time has ran out. 30 seconds is Patrick Beverly. I'm going to give it to him. Right before I hit reroll, he gave us Patrick Beverly. I'll take that as a W. You know, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Patrick Beverly's coming into the team. He's going to run around, going to flop a little bit. He's going to play some defense. He might win Defensive Player of the Year if you know, you know. Next round, we are going into round number six, and we have a decent selection of players here. He's been following for over two years. OG. OG to the Twitch streams. I appreciate that. Now, let's see who they select. Aaron Baines. Yes, that's a W. That's a W. That, that, that's a W. We'll take Aaron Baines here. We'll take Aaron Baines here. Big W. So, in the sixth round, we are selecting Aaron Baines, which is a W. And I think everybody in chat can agree. Aaron Baines, welcome to the team. Last two guys. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all trying to get things right. Only thing is, the two people that trolled me in the middle... Three, I'm sorry, it's been three people that have trolled me. Uh, really set us up for failure. All right, next round. Reroll is going to Great 98S. Great 98s. I don't know why I pronounced it that way. Either way, you have 30 seconds to tell us who we should select. Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay is coming to the team. Again, so far, the last couple picks, people are, people are doing pretty good. They're doing pretty good. I'll take Rudy Gay. He was... Where the heck is Rudy Gay? Is could Rudy Gay classified as a small forward or power forward in this game? Is he even available? Oh, I think it's the first situation where the guy that you select is not there. Rudy Gay has been off the board. We in round number seven. Oh, we're in round number seven. So yeah, Rudy Gay is off the board. He he put it he put it two more times. That's after I said that he he wasn't a, a fit. Next, we roll ball out. Been subbing or been following for a little over a year, so I appreciate that. Let's see who he selects. I'm gonna remember this. I'm gonna remember this. I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna remember that on September 21st, 2020, Ball Out decided in the seventh round, we should go ahead and get Cristiano Felicio. I remember it. I'm gonna remember it. And guess what? I don't, it's nothing I can really do with that information. Cristiano Felicio is the guy coming into the team. That $7.5 million contract just follows me every day of my life. That's the L. I don't care what the chat is saying. That's the L. As we move on to round number eight. And here are the players available. A lot of old guys on top here. 36, 34, 35, 30. What are young? 35? Where are the young guys? Oh, I guess you're not going to get young guys. because They're probably way off the board. Marquise, the 2K guy. All right, 2K guy. Show me what you got. You got 30 seconds. The 2K guy. You got A. Are you about to hit a buzzer beater or do we have to reroll? Yes. You know what? Love it. Bow Bow. Two-way player. 2K changed it. At the end of 2K20, his position was center slash small forward, but they changed it to just center. He is the uh, the bona fide most improved player whenever he gets minutes because his shot tendency is higher than anybody in the world, and he is on my team. Bow Bow, welcome. Is that the best pick for the, for the place we're at? No. But Marquise, the 2K God, told me I had to do it. So it is what it is. As we enter round number nine, we're almost done with the draft, believe it or not. 
and here we are with our selection all right let's see oh bigger w bobo the felicio oh we're voting bobo 100 come on man felicio w those things don't go together those things don't go together re-roll and we get b do donuts w right w george hill is a w i'll take the george hill pick it could have it could have been a lot worse it could have been a lot worse george hill is not a bad pick whatsoever um was he still on the board he was he's the best guy available w's in chat for my boy donut i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right but thank you you gave us the best guy available and we'll take that as a w appreciate that bro appreciate that let's re-roll going to the next guy we got this we got this as we get brent is cool who just literally just type what what the heck that's not that's not a player brent your time is now though your time is now you saw the selection who do we select dante exum Wait, 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 Dante, Dante Exum? He can't be like best guy available, is he? There's no way. Is he, is he considered a shooting guard in this game? I don't even know. Dante Exum. Is there just like a, a small Dante Exum fan club? Or you might be Australian. Hey, Brent. Brent is cool. That is a fact. Brent is cool. But Brent would be a terrible general manager. He gave us Dante Exum in round number 10. We could have got him in round number 14. But regardless, moving on to the next one. Moving on to the next one. Okay, let's see who has the next one. Jay Kantz. And Jay Kantz is a sub, so I appreciate you. I don't know if you were gifted or you did it with your own thing. But I appreciate you. Been around for over a year now. But who are we selecting in round number like 11? I don't even know where we're at right now. Round 12? 13? Boban! Yeah, see... I like the people at the end of this draft. The people at the beginning, they had one intention, and that was to troll me. And then these later people are just nice. 7-4, beast out of Serbia. Had one of the highest PERs in the history of basketball. One of the most efficient players ever. And from all accounts, he's the nicest guy in the NBA too. Bobai, welcome to the team. Bobby, that's a W. We have Andrew Wig. Is this Wiggins? Oh, the numbers don't match up. But yo, that <sighs> Wiggins is just chilling in chat, y'all. <laughs> Wiggins is just chilling in chat. That is crazy. Andrew, your time is now. The man on the burner? He gotta be on the burner, bro. Oh, we didn't call Wiggs. We really called Wiggins. His time ran out. He didn't know we was out here lurking. All right, next. Reroll. Ben the bowler. One, one, one. Your time is now. Ben. Can I get some W's in chat for Ben? Ben has given us the man, the myth, the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Taco Fall. Taco Fall standing at a 7 5. He is 6 4 when sitting down. He had the biggest Bape shirt I've ever seen when I met him. Bape, I didn't even know Bape made clothes that big. Okay, second to last person is Pua. Pua. Pua? Omar, your time is now, baby. Give us our second to last pick, please. Oh, my God. Joe Kim. We get Joe Kim Noah. Yes, that's a W for me. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, Omar. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. This is why I love streaming, bro. This is, why I lo <laughs> this is why I love streaming. There's no way for me to have predicted that this man was going to say that. Oh my god. Okay. All right. And the very last pick of the draft is here. All right. Last roll of the draft is going to Gilgis Gang OKC, a sub. First of all, this had to be the fastest trigger I've ever seen on the, on the chat. It took him a whopping four seconds to give his pick here. He was ready, he had it typed out. I mean, it's the last pick, so I can't complain, but man, 
he was he was really ready w w for him just being ready on his p's and q's i mean he literally picked the worst player in the game like literally picked the worst player in the game um <laughs> but thank you but thank you that's the end of the draft y'all okay all right that is the end of the draft now we have to figure out what the heck do we do with this team we have ben simmons patrick beverly aaron baines george hill boban lou dort dante xm pj dozier felicio joe kim noah bo bo carson edwards and taco fall we have all of these centers not a single four not a single small forward and a ton of point guards like what what do we do what do we do all right so first thing we have to do is make everybody their prime position i'll make ben sims a small four for now but he'll probably end up running point guard for us make everybody the position where they have the most value um i see people in chat spam and put bowl bowl as small forward and you know what we might just we might have to do that i mean his overall is the same as small forward as it is at center He's still gonna be a three-level score regardless. I'm gonna I'm putting him at small four for chat because this is this is for y'all. Look at Kobe. Oh, you make Kobe a shooting guard. He's not just the worst player in the NBA no more. W's. Chad is saying simulate one game to see how they do. All right, we'll simulate the first game of the season. We lost and we got destroyed. This is a team y'all put together. Bobby! Look at Bobby! Crazy numbers. This is a team y'all put together though. This is a team y'all put together though. You know, we lost by 41 points. And no, I didn't do the math. I just looked at chat because somebody else did them. We lost by 41 because of y'all. Game number two. This is the team y'all put together. I'm just letting you know. Oh, that's Seth Curry. I'm like, how the heck does Steph and Jokic get on the same? Here are the trade offers we are getting for Cristiano Felicio in the first round pick. Option number one, Robert Covington. Option number two, Aaron Gordon. And option number three, DeAndre Jordan. So far, it's not even close. It's not 80% of the people. I don't even need to see the end of this poll. Everybody is telling me to trade for Robert Covington. It might be for the memes, or it might be just because he, he might be the best player available right there. So the good thing about this trade is that we also get it, we know we got a pick swap, so we really just trade him a second round pick. Okay. Robert Covington, welcome to the team, man. Yes, sir, Roko. Is on the roster. Does that make us better? We traded Felicio, who's like the worst player in the NBA. So, yes, it does make us better. How much better is the real question? Patrick Beverly. We're going to get that pick that we just got the swap with Patrick Beverly and Dante Exum. I see John Isaac. I am not trading two first round picks for John Isaac. You guys are crazy for thinking I even would consider that. I mean, Eric Pascal is there and Tristan Thompson. This pick. I don't know what the heck the Timberwolves are doing. This pick is valuable. Okay, all right. I got my picks. I got. I mean, I got my trades. Trades. These are the options, y'all. Trade number one is for Tyler Hero. Trade number two is for the pick, and trade number three is Eric Pascal. I knew this is this one's gonna be a lot closer than the last one. That is a fact. That is a fact. I mean, that pick is super valuable, and Tyler Hero is a fan favorite amongst the league. So I know this is gonna be close. Eric didn't get any votes. <laughs> He didn't get any votes. We're going with the pick. W. W. There's no way they can catch up in these last couple seconds. So the pick is the one we're doing. So the trade that's being done is for Kent Bazemore in this pick. And we're doing this because this pick is three and a half star value. I mean, that pick can be gar gargantuan in the rebuild of this team. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. All right. Trade number one is Devin Booker. Trade number two, this might be an underrated one, but we get two very quality players here. So trade number one is D Book. Trade number two is Cal Cal Lowry and and Christian Wood. And I want to say we can do four, right? Trade number three. Trade number three is Jalen Brown and Kelly Oubre, and trade number four is Zach Levine and Valanciunas. And running away with this one is Devin Booker. Devin Booker. He's coming into the team. Zach Levine and Valentunas only gets 4% of the vote. That's very disrespectful to two very quality players. But regardless, you know what? If I had a vote, yes, I was voting Devin Booker too. I was. And he's coming to the team. Yes, sir. That's a W.
So the trade that has to be done thanks to chat is bringing in all-star Devin Booker and Willie Cauley-Stein, who may be a low-key, pretty solid pickup for a backup center or maybe our starting center. So right now, based on the trades we've done, we have Ben Simmons, Devin Booker, Light Scan Backcourt, Robert Covington, Aaron Baines, and Willie Cauley-Stein. Not terrible as of right now. Not terrible. Then we have off the bench, we're going to have George Hill, Bobby, Joe Kim, Lou Dort, PJ. Okay, we need to fix this. These are the these are the ones we're letting people vote on. First one, DeMar DeRozan. Second one, Zach Levine. Third one is D'Angelo Russell. And then fourth one can be Brooke and Derrick Rose, but I feel like that's not going to win. Those are, the, those are the four options we have. This is only a one-year thing too, y'all. So if y'all mess this up, it is what it is, you know? D-Lo is running away with it. He's got 50% of the vote already. D-Rose is not that far behind, but 50% is crazy. 50% is crazy. I think there's, there's no catching up to D'Angelo Russell. And then that allows us to have Ben Simmons run small for us. So we have D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Ben Simmons. That's kind of tight. I don't even need to see the results. I, I see it. The, the chat is spoken. The chat is spoken. And the trade we have to do it's for D'Angelo Russell. And I ain't even, I ain't even see that we get Daniel Gaffer here too. That's a W shout out to Gaff. Ben Simmons goes to small forward. He's a 91. And now our rotation looks like Russell, Book, Simmons, Baines, Kali Stein. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The bench can still use a ton of help. But four out of our five players I really like. Look at Carl Anthony Towns. All right, let's see what we can do for Carl Anthony Towns, man. Nothing. They don't want anything. He's probably not a touch is it worth like people are saying trade Ben Simmons for Carthony Towns? Is that worth it? Um, okay, I'm supposed to let Chad do it. So if anything, we make we make a poll. We're gonna have to make a poll on this one. I see a lot of people saying yes, a lot of people saying no. This is the situation we're brought to. The idea is because oh, you know what's crazy? One second. This exists of them being together and like besties. So that's why Chad is saying that maybe we should trade. Ben Simmons for Carl Anthony Towns because we can make this a reality. At the end of the day, it's up to the chat. It's up to the chat at the end of the day. I'm actually not going to look at the results of this until the last second. Because I want it to be a surprise. And the chat has spoken and said yes. They said yes. Imagine having to give up the all-NBA player and seven picks, it looks like. But this is what Chad wants. They want the three to play together. And it is done. It is done. So right now we're looking at D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Lou Dort, Aaron Baines. And then, oh, we have too many. Like, we need to get this bench better. We need to get this bench better. So we, I mean, these are small trades, but the small trades matters to, matter too. So this is the way I'm thinking. Are we ready for another poll? We have the Derek White trade. We have the Derrick Rose trade. And then we have the Malik Beasley trade. I know how this is going to end. I don't even know why I asked the question. I know how this is going to end. Yeah, okay. That's that's all I really need to know. I just, I just wanted to make sure. I don't even care about the rest of that. I know. I understand. I understand. So Derrick Rose is getting, dang, Bobby has the same trade value as D. Rose. Cut it out. Stop disrespecting my boy. All right, so we got our guard, our backup guard play is solid. D. Rose as the backup, beautiful. Still need to figure out this uh, small forward position, honestly. Are we willing for the memes to have Bo Bo start? That is the next poll. Do we start Bo Bo or do we look for another small forward? Let the chat decide. Bo Bo. I mean, yes. He's gonna get the he's gonna put up stats. Is that from Click's chat? Yeah, shout out to Click, man. He's got he's got the Bo Bo emo. He's on top of his games. Bo Bo will be the starting small forward for our Memphis Grizzlies for this season. What is this? What? Listen, 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 listen. I watched every game for the Chicago Bulls in the last five years. 
I can tell you with with 100% certainty that this man did not come to my team and average 20. It's real. Hold on. Hold on. I'm too... Do you see this? In four games, Jakar Sampson averaged 20 points per game for, for my team. And I, do, I don't remember it happening. Look at the game log. Versus the Knicks, he put up 22. Versus the Wizards, he put up 18. Versus Philly, he put up 29 points. And then versus the Knicks again, 11. I'm a fake fan. Exposed. I just got exposed as a fake fan. I have I have no recollection. Re recognect, re I, I don't remember it. Fake fan, Jakar Sampson. Bring him back to Chicago. And then he had a whole year where he was perfect. He didn't miss. Exposed. Right there. In front of 2K people. 2,000 people. Exposed. It's going to help a little bit. Okay. Yes, I guess we're traded for Jakar Sampson. I would have voted for Rodney Hood, but I feel like the chat, they don't want to win a championship anymore. It's about the memes. And I'm okay. I'm okay with the memes. I'm okay with it. This is going to be the last trade of the video. This is the team y'all built. It is what it is. It is what this is the team you've built. Um, We're giving these minutes to Bobo, but Lou Dort will get minutes. J.R. Smith is not getting minutes. I'm sorry, J.R. Um, we're giving... <laughs> Lou Dort those minutes, and Jakari has to play at least a little bit. Twitch chat has spoken, and our team consists of D'Angelo Russell, Devin Booker, Bo Bo, Aaron Baines, and Carl Anthony Towns as he started five. Then our bench is looking like D-Rose. Shout out to D-Rose. Daniel Gafford, Willie Cauley-Stein, Lou Dort, and Jakar Sampson. And there's the first one of the season, and look who it is. No, no other than Bo Bo putting up 23 and 9 in his first official NBA game technically to say it, forget forget D'Angelo Russell forget Carl Anthony Towns forget Devin Booker I'm taking the most amount of shots in this team all right let's keep it going we're actually winning games which is like crazy to even say I'm gonna go to like the all-star break we're not doing trades anymore so I can go past the trade deadline this is a team that y'all built as of right now, we're looking like a playoff team. Um, probably nothing more than a playoff team. Well, I'm actually really upset that y'all are making my job look easy by trolling me and building a good team. That's that. It just, it just makes me look bad as a rebuilder if chat can do this. You know what I'm saying? They're actually really, really good. Oh, my God. They're actually really, really good. We didn't already clinch the playoff spot. All right, I'm just gonna keep going to the end of the season. Jokic and the Bulls. First of all, can we can we agree that the way they did Jokic in 2K21 is petty? Look at him. I understand that he lost a bunch of weight and they didn't have time to scan him into the game, but he just looks terrible. He looks terrible. He won MVP, though. You know what I'm saying? He won MVP. Ricky Rubio wins six, uh, six Man of the Year. They completely just got rid of Rookie of the Year. Wait. 2K just got rid of Rookie of the Year? Right? I'm not I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm tripping, right? The, the 2K got rid of Rookie of the Year. It's just gone. I mean, we want coach of the year with Taylor Jenkins. Look at the poll. Let's see what let's see what the poll has to say. Better rebuilder, some guy named Kenny, or go to chat. Well, that hurts my feelings just a little bit, but I mean, okay, it is what it is. All right, we will look at statistics, of course. Let's see if we have anybody making the All NBA team for us. I doubt it. Um, no crime. Ben Simmons, we traded him away, and he actually didn't put up. I mean, those are great stats. I thought he put up better stats. Is all. He shot forty percent from three. Unrealistic game. Even though I think he actually shot forty percent from three in real life, because he only he hit two and attempted five. 
Um, okay, let's look at some statistics going into this year. Devin Booker led us in scoring. That makes sense. Conte Town second. Derrick Rose off the bench scored more, averaged more than my starter, D'Angelo Russell. Hmm. Okay. Bow Bow, the GOAT himself, 13 and 7.5. And about 7.7, .7 if we be a technical. Did not shoot as super efficiently, but he averaged 13. Willie Cauley Stein, Aaron Baines as our starting power forward. Didn't do much offensively, but we don't need him to score points like that. Lou Dort averaged five points per game, and Jakar Sampson averaged two, or I guess three, and Taco Fall and them didn't get minutes. Miles Morales, I mean, not Miles. What? what? Uh, next. First round of the playoffs, we're going against Lonzo, Drew Holiday, and LeBron. So, you know, yeah, expect... Expect this uh, streak to to end here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. LeBron is the 8th seed. Come on, man. It's unfair. It, it should... One game away. Game 7, baby. Where's where's Zaza Pachulia when you need him? LeBron is averaging 24-7 and seven in the series. <sighs> it feels like all my hard work and effort on the defensive end has been ignored... By not winning Defensive Player of the Year. 36-year-old LeBron is trying to win Defensive Player of the Year? Alright. Simcast of Game 7. Here we go. The boys come out hot in this first quarter. We're up by almost... Oh, LeBron in a Game 7. Didn't show up. W's in chat. It had to be Bo Bo. It was D-Book. It was D-Book. These boys got blew out by basically 40. LeBron, what did you do? Oh, my God. LeBron didn't do anything. Anything. All right, round two. We're going against Bradley Beal, Chris Middleton, P.J. Washington, DeMarcus, and Mike Conley. That's a good team. They beat us in game one. And game two. Okay. So, Rip. Chat, you did great. You did great. Hey, you built the team, knows the number one seed, but it looks like it might be over. Simcastle. It might be over. Ah, oh, them boys don't know how to lose. Oh. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. All right, we're jumping in. Down by two with a minute left. Now, when I jump into videos or jump into games, I do not actually play. We're just watching what our team would be doing in this situation. We're just watching what our team would do. So I'm going to go and choose sides. Go right to the middle. Make sure we're in 2K cam. And let's get it. Who is on the court? So we have D-Rose, D-Book, Willie Cauley, Stein, Cat, and... Why do we have three centers on the court right now? Why? Why do we have three centers on the court? All right, Devin Booker, make something happen, please. Please make something happen. It's all on you, really. I mean, Cat's here, too. D-Book with the leader. Didn't even want to set his feet. Come on, Book. Come on, Book. Set your feet. This is a win or go home situation for us. And Mike Conley just ice cold. In Memphis. Oh, makes sense. He's in Memphis. Of course he's ice cold. Down by four, 30 seconds to go. Devin Booker. We have a timeout, but I'm not going to use it for him. Taylor Jenkins is just a bad coach, apparently. Hits Derrick Der Rose. Back to D-Book. We look terrible. We look terrible. What is the offense? What is the offense? What is this offense? Why are we a half court with a second to go? Game over, ladies and gentlemen. Game over, ladies and gentlemen. How do we end up with a shot of half court heave? Look at the fourth quarter. We blew the fourth quarter. We gave up 40 points in the fourth. 40 points to Boogie, Bradley Beal, and Mike Conley. L's in chat. And we have been eliminated. Yes. And you know what? I'm happy we lost. Yes, I said it. Luka won it and won the championship. I'm happy we lost. You know why? Because if we would have won a championship, that means everybody in the chat would have thought that they could do my job as a rebuilder. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Shout out to everybody in the Twitch stream. I think we had around 2,000 people watch us do this rebuild and contribute. Uh, we put together a good team, man. Number one seed. Just couldn't get the championship. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.